Welcome back to How to Write Comics. I am Luke Hare, a.k.a. Coltreg. Uh, you can find me online in a bunch of places. This video, I wanted to ask you why you want to write comics. Personally, I grew up reading newspaper strips and then web comics, and in high school I had a friend, Jeremy, who made his own comics and shared them with other kids at lunch. And I was like, oh, cool. I'm not as good as you are at art, but I can do this. I want to do this, and I did. <clears throat> to the point where I built this large collection of comics, and oh, random sketches, and uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. The The comics aren't good, but I learned a lot about writing and characters and myself. And if you really want to make comics, you can make them all by yourself. And yeah, it you get satisfaction from completing something, even though you know it could be better. And that's, like, one of those things. There are a lot of artists out there who it's like, yeah, no, this thing that I did that I got paid for, I could have probably done it better because, you know, part of being human is growing and improving. But, like, making those sorts of comics, that can fill that, like, need to create that you have. So... To get real for a second, this is like the second or third version of this video that I have recorded because I think it is a complicated subject to discuss because I think there are bad reasons to make comics. They usually come from a lack of knowledge or respect for comics as a medium or a genre or however you want to define comics. Comics is also a difficult field to like be a part of it is surprisingly small somewhat insular and if you talk shit in comics or if you stir shit or just cause problems for other people the word will spread like uh thomas woodruff who is a professor at sva had a book that came out and it got nominated for four Eisners, and dozens of former students were like, oh, yeah, no, this guy sucks. He does not like comics. He is an asshole, and uh, the Eisners are industry awards, and he won nothing for his 75-page visual opera. And it's just like, yeah, don't... Don't talk shit about comics. Don't talk down about comics. Um, generally try and be nice and respectful to people. And if you've done dumb stuff in the past, um, you can be better. I mean, it's not an instant flip, but yeah. Uh, there is a lot of history that you can end up with. So, like, love comics if you want to make comics like if you want to make comics and are willing to put in the work uh take the time and to develop yourself and maybe even your career go for it if you want to experiment with the form go for it comics are a form of art i mean you wouldn't like learn one song on the trombone and say oh well i got it i'm never picking it up again with the exception of being school and i just really did not like playing the trombone or practicing. But that was something where I didn't care about it compared to the large binder of comics that I, like, stayed up drawing every night. Like, if you truly care about making comics, make comics. Work on it. Like, caring about comics is enough of a reason to give making comics a go and even if they aren't going to be fully complete just pour yourself into it because there are bad reasons to make comics out there the 
If you think adapting your film script or novel into a comic will be a way to make people care about that story, you aren't doing it for the right reason. And you're going into a totally different market. You fool! If you think it is an easy way to make money or get famous, you aren't doing it for the right reason and you don't know what you are talking about. Like... Any professional has to spend so much of their time promoting the work that they do. There is not an easy way unless you have enough money or built-in fame. And even then, you you just hire people to do the work for you. Um, another reason is, if you really want to tell that one story that you have as a comic, generally speaking, you aren't making a comic for the right reason your project isn't going to turn out well because you don't know enough about comics like there are very few writers or artists who can make an amazing comic on their first go it takes time to learn and you grow as you learn that is why like so many web comics out there you can see the writers and the artists growing as the years pass and this is a good and expected thing like I have seen some web comics where the artists didn't grow, but uh, I'm not here to talk about those comics. But like, if you are learning how to make comics, and even if you are just someone who considers yourself a writer, go and like make a web comic. And I am once again explicitly saying, don't make webtoons, but go to like. A less exploitative site like The Duck, formerly Drunk Duck for hosting, or Tumblr, or even DeviantArt, even though DeviantArt is kind of being killed by how much AI-generated art that they allow. Or, like, make your own site. That takes time. I need to invest some time into my own various sites that uh, are coming out soon. But... Like, there isn't a good reason to not scan your doodles and share them. Like, you are going to grow, you might not make a huge art, you might not find a huge audience, but like, you will get 100% better at comics by doing this, and you will learn to appreciate the people you work with if you do this much more than if you just kind of continuously wait for an artist to take a chance, especially if you're like, well, I just have this 200-page graphic novel or this 30-page or this 30-issue series because that's that's 999 times out of a thousand not going to fly. Comics should not be your path to go and get rich because uh, it is not the 90s. The speculator market is dead and like. I do 100% think that comic creators should be able to make a living and they should be able to retire and they should not have to continuously produce more work that is both a failure of corporations, um, healthcare systems, retirement systems, and a bunch of other things. But like, uh, getting rich and starring in Levi's commercials, that's not happening. Uh, and, like, comics shouldn't be your path to get people to care about other work that you've created, because if you couldn't really promote it in the original form, how is switching formats really going to work, especially if you don't know enough about that, like, new media marketplace? It's like, well, I couldn't get my anyone to read the book that I wrote, but maybe they'll buy this comic that I wrote, and it's like, well how let's let's go back how could you not get people to be interested in that is it actually good is it like something worth promoting did you promote it as well as you can uh promotion is a skill like understanding how to market yourself or market work that you were involved in is a vital thing and it is a difficult thing and it is something that i actively uh not the best at you can 
see based on my long history of podcasts that nobody has given a uh, damn about. Uh, Don't ask Dawn. And, like, if you just want to tell that one story and then it's like, oh, I'll never do comics again, or that will be all I need to do to make a living forever, that probably, even if you made it to the end, would not be good. Like, you need to put in the work to improve at comics. You need to fall off that metaphorical bike a few times. You need to accept that your first work is not always going to be the most professional and it's not going to be perfect. If you really want to make comics, you need to find time to create them and to satisfy the part of you that wants to create, even though if you do everything by yourself, it wouldn't necessarily be as satisfying as if you had someone drawing everything with you or working on everything with you, but doing this will make you respect like the people who are going to help you or who you are going to pay or who you are going to work with in the future a lot more because it's not just a beep boop boop I'm putting in the ideas and then I'm getting a comic back out that's not how it works so like take some time to make comics um the exception or I, I I'd also just want to say if you are pulling in other people and like you're promising them to make money off of the comics that you were collaborating on that is something where uh, you know you probably should take things a bit more seriously especially if they aren't being paid up front and they are being paid speculative speculatively and that's also kind of why I say um, yeah start with some stuff that you can do yourself or that is going to be low priority low stakes because um, when you do get to that point where you're trying to make money or you are asking more and more people to or rely on you to get things done you want to have those skills ready I've got some videos planned currently on the direct market uh, webtoons and trying to make a living uh, at comics which is going to be interesting um, so look forward to those coming up soon um, it's convention hell month for me I did a convention last weekend at the Middletown Comics uh, festival and had a good time sold some books made some connections but uh, yeah I don't know when I will have the next one up but uh, yeah what is the reason to make a comic because you have that desire to make a comic what is the reason to bring another person in to make a comic with you uh, that's because you want to do something more than you can accomplish on your own but to get that sort of collaboration or to get those people working with you you need to either pay them up front or show that you have an idea of what you're doing because talk is cheap words are cheap and uh comics uh aren't just prose the vast majority of the time anyways if you want to see some of the comics that i have done uh coltreg.itch.io and uh, i also have a patreon where it doesn't specifically support this but it's part of it, and also go check out No Man's Dawn, the One Piece and Simpsons podcast that I do. Thank you for your time, and I'll see you next time.